Hello friends, in the last video we have seen the projection of lines and its basics. We have seen when line is inclined to any one plane and parallel to another plane. Now in this lecture we are going to discuss if line is inclined to both the planes. So we will assume here one vertical plane and one horizontal plane with respect to which we need to project that line. Now if in any case if line is inclined to both the planes here I am taking an example of line AB which is inclined to both the planes then how we can project this line on vertical plane and on horizontal plane because if line is not parallel to vertical plane we are not going to get true length in vertical plane and it is if it is not parallel to horizontal plane so also we are not going to get true length in horizontal plane as well we will see how to project this line in both the planes now in this case point A is given 10 mm above horizontal plane and 25 mm in front of vertical plane the line AB is given at an angle of theta with the horizontal plane and angle phi with the vertical plane so to project this line on both the planes we have to assume the line is parallel to one of the plane first we will rotate this line till it becomes parallel to vertical plane but in this case we have to make sure that it is not changing its inclination with the horizontal plane so we have rotated this line till the line becomes parallel to vertical plane without changing its inclination with horizontal plane means, means inclination will be theta only with respect to horizontal plane so we get a another new line which is parallel to vertical plane we will name this line as a b1 if I want to project this line AB1 on vertical plane. So if you locate in the observer direction, we get projection of line AB on vertical plane as A dash B1 dash because we are projecting now line AB1. Right? So we are getting projection as A dash and B1 dash. So if you want to project this line with respect to XY line we will draw the xy line first and then we will locate point a dash and point a in the front view that line will become a dash b1 dash making the angle theta only because we have not altered angle theta or inclination with horizontal plane so at the same angle theta we will draw the line a dash b1 dash so this line is the true length and angle is also theta which the line makes with the horizontal plane now in earlier video also we have seen if line is true length in one of the view in another view its projection would be line parallel to xy line so we can draw the projection of this line which will be parallel to xy line in top view so for that we will draw the projector of point b1 dash vertically downward and from point a we will start drawing line towards the right wherever it will meet that projector of point b that point will be point B and this is plan length or you can say the top view length we get line AB1 the plan length is always equal to the top view length in measurement so we can draw an arc by taking AB1 as radius and point A as center we will draw an arc over here so we can conclude here point B will come on this arc itself so right now this is all about the assumption 1 when we rotated that line till that line becomes parallel to vertical plane now to move further we will assume the second thing that line would be parallel to horizontal plane now so we will rotate that line horizontally without changing its inclination phi with vertical plane till that line becomes parallel to horizontal plane here you can see the actual line AB has been rotated till you get this line becomes parallel to horizontal plane but you have to make sure that the line makes angle phi with the vertical plane that angle is not being changed 
so i'm assuming this point as point b2 because it is my assumption again so this line ab2 is parallel to horizontal plane and once you project this line from top view you get projection on horizontal plane that would be again what the true length in measurement because the line is parallel to horizontal plane so we'll try to project this line with respect to xy line here we have point a so we'll measure angle phi in top view and we'll try to draw line a b of the true length itself so here we get true length and the point becomes point b2 once you get point b2 you can draw the locus of point b and wherever this locus will meet that earlier arc you are drawn from plan length so that point will become point b now once you get point b you can directly join this a to b by a straight line this line becomes the top view line after getting top view line we need to get the front view line as well right so we will project this point b vertically upwards on this locus of point B so wherever it will meet that locus that point would be point B dash and once you get B dash we will join that A dash and B dash by straight line this is the front view line so guys here you can measure the angle made by this front view line with the XY line and top view line with the XY line these are the angles alpha and beta so here we guys we can project any line which is inclined to both the planes but in this type of problems we need the notations that we are going to use in this projection of lines term so you can start here point a dash is the front view of the point a point a is what the top view of the point a when you draw line a dash b dash this line is the front view line and when you draw line a b that line is the top view line so these are what the actual projection of the line a b these two lines makes an angle of alpha and beta respectively with xy line similarly we have true lengths in front view which has notations a dash b1 dash and which makes angle theta with xy line similarly the true length in top view is line a b2 and which makes angle phi with xy line so guys the notations are like that actual line we have taken line ab the projections of line ab are nothing but front view of the line a dash b dash top view of the line ab is small ab the true lengths which we are getting in front view and top view are a dash b1 dash in front view and ab2 in top view the inclination or you can say the true inclination of line ab with horizontal plane is theta so also you can say the angle made by the true length with xy line in front view similarly the true inclination of line ab with vertical plane is angle phi and apparent inclination of line ab with xy line in front view is angle alpha the line a dash b dash which makes angle with xy line that angle is alpha similarly in top view the line ab which makes angle with xy line that angle is angle beta so guys these are the notations that would be required in our solving projection of line problems so guys we will stop here now in the next video we will solve problems on projection of lines involving lines inclined to both the planes thank you